All right, now as promised, I um, just want to go over a few of the things that we saw in today's lesson. So E says, write the equations of three lines that are parallel to 4x minus 5y equals 6. And then it says, confirm your answers on Desmos. So um, if you remember, Desmos is just the software. Um, so it's just desmos.com. Um, you can go up onto the computer and type in your equations and uh, check to see if they work. So now we want to write three equations of three lines that are parallel to this line. And we can do this in one of two ways. We can rearrange this equation figure out what the slope is and write our three equations or we can actually write three standard form equations okay so um, if you remember when you have standard forms so ax plus by um, equals c right um, that the slope is equal to negative a over b so since the slope is just a ratio of a and b if we want lines that have the exact same slope as this one, then if our A and B stay the same, then our slope should be the same, right? So here, our slope is the ratio of A, so negative 4 over negative 5, which is equal to 4 over 5. So this is the ratio um, that we want to keep. So that means A um, can be 4 and B can be negative 5. We can also maintain this ratio of, is if we double both pieces. So if A was 8 and B was negative 10, or if A was 12 and B was negative 15. But we're actually just going to keep the 4 and the negative 5, because as long as these two stay the same, we know we're going to get the same slope. So that means then that I'm going to do 4x minus 5y equals 31. So again, I have the ratio of negative 4 over negative 5, which is 4 fifths. And then 4x minus 5y equals negative 7. Still have that same ratio. 4, so negative 4 over negative 5 equals 4 fifths. And lastly, 4x minus 5y equals um, 0. So I'm still holding on to the same ratio. So all of these lines are going to be parallel. And you can go on to Desmos right now and type them all in and you'll see that they are all parallel. So moving on to F. So F says, determine the equation of the line which is parallel to 3x plus y minus 5 equals 0 and passes through the point negative 5, negative 3. Well, we already saw from the other page, sorry as I flip this over a lot, that if these lines are parallel, the only thing that's changing here is our C value. So we can say then that for this line right here, a line that is um, parallel to it, okay, is going to be 3x plus y plus C equals 0. So this line is going to be parallel to this line because here the slope is negative 3 over 1, and here the slope is negative 3 over 1. Because remember, when there's a y, it's like you're writing 1y. Um, so now that I've come up with an, an equation that would be parallel to this one, what I'm saying now is that for any value of c, these two, so c could be 2, c could be negative 3, c could be 7, c could be negative 11. So I have to figure out what c is. I need to see if there's a way that I can figure that out. Well, it tells me that it passes through the point negative 5, negative 3. Well, I know that x is negative 5, and y is negative 3, and I just happen to have an x and a y in this equation. So I'm going to replace x with negative 5, and I'm going to replace y with negative 3. And then I have plus c equals 0. So 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, and 1 times negative 3 is subtract 3, plus c equals 0. And negative 15 subtract 3 is negative 18, plus c equals 0, and now I want to solve for c. So I'm just going to add 18 to this side to get rid of it, and add 18 to this side, and so I have c equals 18. So therefore, 3x plus y 
plus 18 equals 0 is my line. Is a line that is parallel to 3x plus y minus 5 equals 0 and passes negative 5, negative 3. So I could have done this question in a different way. All right. Um, but I chose to just maintain standard form because I know that the ratio of A and B stayed the same. And so I felt it was an easier question if I left it in standard form. But you, like I said, you could have rearranged it to slope y-intercept form. So now our last question. Determine the equation of a line that's parallel to a line which passes, which joins these points. So that means that if we have two points, say negative 4 and 7 and um, 8 and 1, right, and I'm just going to, whoops, 8 and 1, <laughs> then I need to figure out what the slope of this is because my new line is going to be parallel to this line, and so that means that it's going to have the same slope. So first, I need to figure out what the slope is. So the slope of my new line, well, I'm just going to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is equal to 1 minus 7, right, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, 8 minus negative 4, so that's going to be negative 6 over 12, which in this case is negative a half. So that's the first thing I know is my slope. So because I found the slope, um, in this case, I can well, we'll talk about that in a minute. So I know I'm going to have a line that has a slope of a half. And now it has to have the same x-intercept as this line right here. Okay. So the second thing then I need to figure out is the x-intercept. And to find the x-intercept, I know that my y has to be 0. My y-coordinate is always 0 because it's on the x-axis. So I'm going to do 3x minus 5 times 0 equals 12. So 3x equals 12. Divide both sides by 3. So x equals 4. So that means my x-intercept is 4. Um, and the coordinate for that is going to be 4 and 0. So now that I'm looking at this, I need an equation of a line that has a slope of negative a half and passes through the point 4, 0. And I can do this the same way I did up top, where I can use that half and create a standard form equation. Or, since I already have it set up like this, and I already know what the slope is, and I have a point, I could use the slope point equation, or I could use the slope y-intercept equation. So because I have the slope and a point, I'm going to use the slope point equation to come up with my equation. So the slope point equation is y minus y0 equals m times x minus x sub 0. So that's y. Well, my y is 0, so my point, my y point is 0. My slope is negative a half x, and my x, po the point that I've been given, is 4. So y minus 0 is just y, and then I have negative a half so I can distribute this if I want. I can leave it like, or sorry, y, so I can leave it like this. This is perfectly, this is perfectly valid as an answer. Or I can distribute it. And so if I distribute it, I would have y equals negative a half x, right? Because a half times x is a half x, and a half times negative 4 is plus 2. So, whoops. Either of these answers is fine. And that's it. So you're always looking at what you've 
been given so you can come up with equations of lines. So you either need to come up with the C in standard form or you need to come up with the equation using the point and the slope in point slope form or you need to come up with the B if you're going to put it into slope y-intercept form. Hope that helps.